I'm going to take these pansies. What I'm going to do to give you maximum impact is select target areas of eye color curb appeal. Take a bed like this corner, fill it with your flowers, skip a big area, then pick that corner right over to my right. We're going to pack that with color. Now pull back this mulch, this pine bark nugget, then I'm going to add soil. Why am I adding soil? Do not get your flowers and put them in your existing soil in your flower bed. Get some miracle Grow garden soil. It's got peat, perlite. Now what you're going to want to do with your soil is you're going to want to elevate it. Your flower beds should be six to eight inches above the grade of your existing landscape grade. Now, why do you want to do that? You want maximum drainage and aerification in this flower bed. You get your soil down, you mound it, you kind of pack it in, firm it up, drop your plants in, and by the way, do not put mulch in your flower bed. Why? It's going to retain too much water. You'll reduce air movement and air circulation in the soil profile. It may reduce some weeds, but I'll tell you what, you're probably going to have crown rot and all kinds of different disease or root rot issues if you take a flower bed and you put mulch in there. Now for fertilizer, I've chosen the dynamite. This is a NutriCoat, if you will, coated with a polymer. It feeds very, very slow. Figure about six months of feeding for this particular kind of fertilizer.